and welcome to Sufiani Designs. So I finally finished this piece that um, I put a post on uh, YouTube the other day. I created the leaves initially, um, just let me get a little bit closer here, using foil and plastic. I added some welding wire to make the stems. Now this initially was going to be a freestanding sculpture but the weight of the resin was too much for the welding wire so that wasn't going to work so I had to come up with an alternative plan so I did play around with a couple of different ideas and then decided to use this uh, MDF cut off for the base so I then played around with how I was going to position them on the board so I actually like the way that the, the, the leaves are creeping out the side and I've it's got given it extra dimension so I've added some extra stones to balance it at the bottom um, and also to make sure that the welding wire is completely covered with resin so that there's nothing sticking up nothing that you can catch um, your fingers on or anything like that so Without further ado, let's get into how I made this piece. So my initial plan was to create the leaves on onto the welding wire and this was going to be the part, the stems, that was going to make it a free form sculpture. Um, but the resin ended up a little bit too heavy to do that so um, the plan did change further along. So what I'm doing here is I'm using foil to create the shapes of the leaves. Now I've used rope in the past and um, various other things to create the shape but I wanted to make sure that I was able to keep the shape without using any silicone so I've just used foil and shaped them into the desired shape and then just adding the welding wire into the centre on top of the plastic. So the plastic has been placed on top of the foil and then the welding wire is then placed on top of the plastic. So I squash that down so that, that wire is lying as flat as possible. And to keep it secure in place I'm just adding a little bit of sellotape to the bottom just so the wire doesn't move too much. So for this design there was three leaves, um, all slightly different sizes and what I've done here now, I've mixed up a batch of resin and coloured it with some emerald green resin and I've literally just mixed the, the crushed glass with the resin just so that to make sure that all of the stones are completely covered, or I should say all of the glass is completely covered in the resin so that this sticks together and I'm just placing it around the edges to um, form the shape and also to flatten the plastic at the edges before pouring into the centre. In the centre I'm pouring a jade green resin and I'm going to be blending the two so I've got the emerald on the outside and the jade in the center and I will allow that to run into each other just so that you've got the lighter color then moving out to the dark. Now there's quite a lot of resin in this um, the center but because of the foil and the plastic it's not going to flow anywhere and now using the acrylic shapes to give extra dimension in this and because it was initially going to be a sculpture the idea was that the light would pass through these gems so when so they placed the light behind it they would really stand out but uh, as you know I then changed my plan and it ended up getting mounted onto the board but it still 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 have that same effect which is quite nice and very very gently I'm just applying a touch of heat to pop any bubbles being careful not to melt the plastic And I follow the same pattern for the, the other two leaves. 
So just creating the very same effect for each one. Now this has been left to cure overnight, so now it's time to remove the plastic. So just using a little bit of uh, force to get this plastic off. In a couple of places it doesn't come off so easy because of the groove, so I do later on melt that into the back. Because like I say, I thought this was going to be on show, but because it ends up being the board, I needn't have bothered doing that because you would not see the plastic anyway. So once I realised that my initial sculpture idea wasn't going to work, it was just going to be too top heavy, I decided to play around with ideas and see what would work best. So this is what I'm doing now, I'm just playing around to just get the layout somewhere where I think that it's going to work before working on the resin. So what I've done here is I've given the board a coat of primer before spray painting it silver and then just mixed up a batch of resin. Now I've not used a really a, a, a large amount of resin because I literally just want to coat this in the resin because this is not the main feature it doesn't this does not have to be perfect so I've just poured a small amount just to make sure that this board is covered. I am going to add some extra colours to it to give it extra dimension but for the purposes of this you don't need it to be as much as you would normally use and I've added some silver glitter to just give it extra sparkle. So here I've added some gold spray paint to the resin which I've mixed in with the resin. I like gold spray paint that when you move it you get some really nice highlights happening and all I've done here is I've just followed the basic shape of where the leaves are going to go and most of this is going to be covered by the leaves so it doesn't have to be perfect. And here I'm just adding some extra lines of gold because I had some left and because I can. <laughs> So just adding that in there just to give it some extra interest. Now it's time for the white. Now note I've not waited for any of this resin to cure at any point. So this has just been added straight on top of the gold and the glitter layers. And then using the really high setting on the heat gun I'm now blowing the white to get some cells happening and added interest into the piece. And again I'm just going to add some extra white layers just to give it a little bit more definition. And once again just adding a bit of heat to help break that up. Now this time it's not such a high setting, I just want to break those lines up just ever so slightly um, without losing the shape of the lines. So once I'm happy with that it's now time to position the leaves and I'm putting these direct onto the wet, uh, the wet resin. Now what I'm doing here because I'm sitting this one on top of the wire of the one underneath I've actually added a couple of stones underneath just to lift it on that side so that the wire, the welding wire actually sits flat to the board. I did manage to touch the white of the resin and got a little bit on the top of the resin which I've just now wiped off with some baby wipes. So now that I can see where that's going to go I'm now adding some extra resin to the welding wire to make sure that the, the leaf sticks to it and it's got something to bind to. And I had some extra resin left over which I'm just going to throw into that area as well of where that leaf's going to go just so that I know that it's well and surely adhered to the board. And some extra stones for finishing just to make sure that that's balanced properly.
Now, as you know, I like to add acrylic diamonds to my pieces because I feel that they're not finished unless they've got them added to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm adding the diamonds to follow some of the shape and curves that we've already poured just to give it extra definition. But also what the stones do and why I like them so much is that when they sink, they take on the colour of the base of the board. So where the silver was sprayed, you will get that coming through the diamonds plus the resin will also surround the diamonds. So you get some interesting shapes and colours happening with them. And I just think it just helps cement the two together so that it doesn't look like the leaves are just plonked on top this looks like it's part of the whole design and again just using some of the leftover resin that I had and adding them to the weld and wire so that I can pour some extra stones on there just to make sure that the, this is well and truly adhered and also to the top edge here where there's gaps under the middle leaf I'm adding some more resin in there and I'm going to just stick some stones in there just to make sure that that's well and truly attached to the board. I hope that no matter where you are in the world you are staying safe. Whether you're in self-isolation or in lockdown or just generally can't get out to work uh, for one reason or another, I hope that this video inspires you to make your own creations and keeps you entertained during these uncertain times. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up or better still, subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to make any comments on what you would like me to create in the future, then please comment below also. So until next, till the next video, bye for now.